Start with hand hygiene and introduce yourself. Confirm the patient's identity, then explain the examination and gain consent to perform it. Take a few seconds to observe the periorbiter, eyelids and the eyes themselves, commenting on any positive or relevant negative findings. The next step is to perform the fundal reflex test to assess for media opacity. Set the arc light by clicking the button three times for the brightest light and then move the lens rack to the top so there's no lens power. With the arc light prepared, dim the lights in the room and at arm's length, look through the sight hole. Ask the patient to look at the light, observing both eyes at the same time. The light should reflect from the fundus back through the pupils, looking symmetrically bright with similar colour. Any asymmetry suggests an abnormality such as corneal scar, cataract, blood in the vitreous or a retinal tumour. Next, examine the back of the eye. Ask the patient to fix on a target in the distance. Use your right hand and right eye to examine their right eye and your left for their left. Start with your feet close to the patient and lean back. Identify the fundal reflex and follow this, moving in on a path 10 to 15 degrees temporal on the horizontal. When you're close to the eye, the optic disc should come into view. Go in closer still and you will get a wider and more stable view. Comment on how distinct the margin of the disc is, the colour of the neuroretinal rim and the cup to disc ratio. Then look for other signs along the four major branches of the retinal vessels. Finish by asking the patient to look into the light to bring the centre of the macula, called the fovea, into view. In a non-dilated eye, this will cause the pupil to constrict and you will lose the view. In a dilated pupil, the fovea can be seen as a slightly darker zone with a pinpoint reflection. Repeat this examination on the other eye. After the examination, thank the patient, summarise your findings and repeat hand hygiene.